Hello YouTube, this is Old School from Motherbuck.net, and uh, a special hello to the Trash Talking Circuit and the CNS. Uh, the Cowboys fans so far have been pretty impressive, i got to tell you. Uh, I hear a lot of noise about the Trash Talking Circuit and how much uh, vile or, you know, I don't know, vitriol, I guess is the word I'm looking for, angst gets spit out there, and I'm sure it does, and, and I think it's all done in fun. But once again, I've been impressed by the fact that most Cowboys fans have been pretty damn uh, cool. I appreciate that. Uh, we're going to see a bunch of them over at the tailgate, I think, on Sunday, which will be which will be pretty cool, too. So the one thing I did want to do, aside from the analysis of the game that I did before, which hopefully you guys have already checked out on the YouTube channel, is there was one video that was posted by uh, Dallas Cowboys TD that just didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Now, it didn't get a whole lot of views, so I'm guessing that, that it's either he's new or whatever. But the thing that really kind of stumped me was every single point that you brought up was incorrect. Uh, so I, I kind of want to go through it. Uh, first of all, the majority of your videos seem to be essentially just saying that we sucked and that you're going to beat the shit out of us, which, while interesting, doesn't really classify as analysis nor necessarily trash talk. Your initial comments about our defense historically being decent is a bit of an understatement. When you look at the data anyway, either yards per game or pass, uh, points per game, uh, we've been damn good. Uh, and I went back to 2000 I got bored, but over that period of time, we've averaged in yards per game rank 6 in the league. You guys are 10th. And in points per game, we average 7th, and you guys are 16th. So decent probably doesn't cover it. The other thing you mentioned is that we're getting old when actually we cut our aging veterans. Uh, the big concern about our defense right now is the youth. We have an entirely young linebacking crew. Uh, Rondé Barber is really the only holdover uh, that we've got on the defensive side. So the defense is really uh, about a youth movement. Um, furthermore, your next assertion is that our offensive line is a joke. And if you look at any of the details out there about the Buccaneers right now, despite the incredible amount of questions that we have going into the season, the offensive line, almost to a man, is considered one of the strengths of this team. Now, it's not the same offensive line you guys bring with 6'6", six, six, average 326 pounds per guy. It's a more uh, a smaller, more athletic, quicker offensive line. But there's some stout talent on there. The big concern that we would have, obviously, is health uh, with regards to depth and then true blood against the edge rush. Now, last year when you guys did beat us, uh, the comments you had made before was that, you know, we're not going to be able to do anything. Byron Leffert's going to be on his back, which it, there's a distinct possibility he's not particularly fast, obviously, uh, and that we're going to be dodging linebackers all day. That should have happened last year, guys, right? Ware didn't even notch a sack last year. Donald Penn owned his ass. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but to pound your chest like that, like it's going to change so significantly, it, 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 it's, not, it's not bright. Uh, your comment about Garcia, we, we cut the only guy that gave us a chance to be in the playoffs. That guy is, in fact, unemployed right now. Now, I like Jeff when he was here. We had to move forward. He went on to try and resurrect somewhere else, and now he's working at Best Buy. So as far as making a bad decision personnel-wise, I don't know that that one ranks up there. Um, the D. Ward comments. He was good, but again, he had a good offensive line, I believe, is your comment. Reference previous comment about our offensive line, and I believe D. Ward averaged like six yards a carry against you guys in two games last year. He was fresh, your comment is. He'll be fresh this year. We're coming in with Cadillac, Williams, Anders, Graham, and then Clifton Smith as well. Now, they're not as well known, obviously, as your backs. You've got a tremendous stable of backs uh, in your backfield. But D. Ward will be fresh. They're going to go a 2 2 1 spread with, with the number of uh, series that they're going to carry. So D. Ward will be fresh with the zone blocking scheme. If our guys can get a hat on a hat in there, this could be an interesting game on the ground, not just from the Marion Barber Felix Jones side, which is yours, but from our side, where D. Ward will have plenty of, of support. Uh, you pounded your chest a lot about your defense, but last, last year you ranked like 21st uh, against the rush. I, I mean, Ware is amazing. Ratliff is amazing. You've got some individually very talented people. But it's not like you guys are the Steelers from a couple years ago or the Bucks from a couple years ago or you know any of it, the Ravens intermittently, seemingly every other year, right? You've got some amazingly talented individuals, but you should be a little careful pounding your chest about how great you are until you start notching those entire season stats. Um, your, your score prediction is very humorous, 35 to 10. I mean, if... if if you're right, you'll look like a genius, right? But I just don't see that being the kind of score that gets notched up in a game like this that should be determined in the trenches and uh, and hopefully will be one of, of heat and grinding it out. Uh, and the last comment you made that I want to bring up here was, the punt returners are pussies, I believe was your quote, because of the big hit. It was a big hit. I actually played it on our show because it was a big hit. Now, it was a fortunate big hit. The punter was actually a little bit out of position, and he looked up and got him right in the chest. But still, he followed through. It was a solid hit. He got jacked up. Now he popped back up. And that was at the end of a 19-yard return, by the way. Right? Your punter was making the tackle on the guy as he came through your coverage team. And by the way, that was Clifton Smith, who was the Pro Bowl returner. So to talk about how bad our punt returner is, is humorous. 
So, at any rate, this isn't trash talk. This is just saying, dude, if you're going to talk trash, step your game up and do some research, will you, for God's sakes, because that's just pathetic. I mean, there's plenty of shit you can make fun of for us, right? Brand new head coach who seems to stutter more than a third grader. Uh, a general manager who does, you know, he's still wet behind the ears. Uh, we, Byron Leftwich, Jesus, you could have done a whole video on Byron Leftwich, for God's sakes. Uh, you, you would have attacked our safeties. They've looked pathetic. Uh, but, but the things you picked on were just dumb. So, uh, you know, I've already given my score prediction. I think it's going to be a lot closer than the Dallas fans are. Uh, I don't really get into the trash talk, but I did want to try and give you a little bit of information to say if you're going to do this kind of thing, please spend the 15, 20 minutes it takes to actually look a little bit into the team you're playing and come with some data. And a lot of the other Cowboy folks have done that. Even when they trash talk, they're, they're quick to point out the points that, that make sense, and they're going to go after the weaknesses. That's all I'm saying. So, anyway, what the buck out. Uh, we'll be live Monday talking about this game, and if I lose those two hat bets, I'll be rocking a Dallas Cowboy lid. So, you know, it's all good until then. We'll see you guys on Monday.